In this video, we will show how to perform a two-point calibration for an A71EC SP sensor using an A75EC analyzer. So right now, my analyzer is displaying a configuration fault. If we press the mode key to navigate to the diagnostic menu, you see here is the last option. You need to press the mode key as many times as required until the diag mode is selected. Press enter, then in view faults, that is the first option shown, press enter and it will tell you that a calibration is required. And what do you have to do? That is perform calibration. So press mode again to go back to measure mode and if you see right now we have the sensor on the bench with nothing connected to it which should be giving us a clear zero and it is not it's deviated so we will proceed with the calibration now the first thing you need to do is navigate to the calibration menu that is called CAL so press the mode key until it says press enter for calibration mode and here the call is highlighted. Press enter, enter the passcode and the default is 0800. Enter, it's going to engage the whole calibrator's name. I'm not going to change that, so enter. And now it says, calibrate sensor and it will show you below all the possible options for calibration. Today we are interested in calibrating the sensor so enter and then you have solution or bench. Press the down arrow key to go to bench and then enter. Please wait and then it says suspend sensor in air and away from all objects. So this is the step number one. You should not press enter until you are ready. So following the instructions, hold your sensor in the air and we have an A71 ECSP here. Hold it in the air and then press enter. Wait for a few moments. It will read stability off if you have not configured for it to be auto, which is our case. So after you give it a few moments for it to stabilize as much as possible, press enter and manually change that number to all zeros. So I'm going to change then press the left arrow key to go to the next digit until they all read zero. Once you have your 0, 0.00 in the box, press enter and it's going to say yes, user bench. If you notice here above, ask you to connect the loop resistor. Now, at Schneider, we provide something that we call the calibration plug. That is what you see here. To make the calibration process easier, and in this case, you do not need to calculate anything, just purchase the one that corresponds to your exact conductivity limit required for your application, and simply Take the calibration plug, loop it to the sensor board, connect it, and you will have a clear uh, X conductivity value required. But in this video, 
we're going to assume you do not have a calibration plug which is the preferred option and we're going to be using mats instead so if you do not have a calibration plug you need to have a decade box but for you to use a decade box to calibrate your sensor you need to apply some mathematics in a formula that is explained in the MI 611-224 that is the MI for the A75 EC analyzer and it says that the resistivity that you require to use will be equals to a thousand times the cell factor of your specific sensor type times the number of loops of the wire coming out of the decade box through the sensor board square and then divided by the conductivity required and that is also explained here on the analyzers display so I have already calculated the value that I require to know the specific cell factor for your sensor type console the MI pages 49 and 50 and they also explain there how to use the formula so my cell factor because I have an SP is 2.15 and if I wanted to have 50 millisiemens with just one loop in the board I will get a resistivity that is below 100 and that is not recommended so when that happens like in our case you need to loop more loops of wire through the sensor board and according to our calculations if I were to loop one and then two loops of wire through the board I'm going to connect this back to the decade box doing this type of connection that is my N in the formula number of loops equals to 2 to replicate or simulate 50 millisiemens I will need to dial 172 ohms so now I'm above 100 and that value I can use so I'm going to dial here 1 7 and 2 and once you're ready press enter do not worry if the values that you see on screen are completely deviated that's the reason why we are calibrating so once you have given some time for the measurement to stabilize give it a couple of seconds you're going to press enter the selection box is going to be shaded but do not worry press the left arrow key to go to the first digit and enter the millisiemens that will correspond to your maximum conductivity limit then in our case it's going to be 50 five zero millisiemens per centimeter press enter and then it says calibration completed to save now press the mode key And it says change the save. Give it a few moments for the analyzer to update. And now we are at 50.0. Now, if you notice, and the reason why I brought absolute to be shown on the display is because I selected a conductivity curve so on top I have my conductivity measurement that is the raw measurement plus 
the temperature compensation that it is applying to the measurement um, based on that specific curve that I selected. Right now, I do not have my sensor immersed in, in anything. So the real uh, measurement you will say that is before compensation, like we will require right now that we are not in the process, is the absolute. And that, as you see, has a pure 50.0 millisiemens per centimeter, which is what I have right now. And my bar is completely full because I set my range to be from 0 to 50. And again, it was a coincidence this time uh, that the scale was 50. No, it's not always going to be like that. So if, for example, our range had been 30 instead, I still want to select the scale to be 50 in order to cover my whole range. So after you have done this, you want to test your calibration and that's why I have not disconnected the decade box just yet. And now I'm going to simulate a different conductivity. I'm going to move to 10 millisiemens and for that I believe I require 860 ohms. And again, these values are found with the formula we just discussed. There it is. So now we have confirmed that our analyzer and A71 EC sensor, that is our complete conductivity system, has been calibrated and is working correctly. And we have no more faults displayed. displayed. And you can still confirm that. Going back to the diagnostic menu, view faults, and it is working perfectly. Thank you for watching.